What's happening, YouTube? So, the Los Angeles Clippers got recently bounced by the Phoenix Suns, obviously. And a lot of questions on what should the Los Angeles Clippers do um, during the trade. So, just to let y'all know, my voice is a little bit lower right now since it's pretty late at night. It's still 11.30, so, um, so just keep in mind with that. Also, let you know, um, you know, there's a little bit of technical difficulties when I record the film, so it's going to be... A bit glitchy, but I try my best to get the films to break down. But anyways, who should the Clippers trade for? Is it Kyrie Irving? Would it be Damian Lillard? Or would it be Pascal Siakam? The Clippers, they would pretty much go bankrupt if they try to trade for any one of these. Um, the best case scenario, they still keep some depth, but you still have to trade your picks and... You know, when you don't have a picks for any of your decade and you don't trade for a guy like that is like, you know, un, like, you know, under like 28 years old and you don't have any youth on your team. It's pretty much a recipe for disaster. In my opinion, it's not really good to rely on three guys to be healthy. We all know how bad the Clippers medical staff is. So... So who is this guy that the Clippers for trade to should the Clippers trade for? Um, hint, he's been on my profile picture, and on my birthday, this is my birthday wish. I would love the Clippers to trade for Gregory Jackson. Um, Gregory Jackson, and, and also just to let you know, before I proceed, if you're not really good, if you really don't like young players for prospect or if you have a close matter mentality of um, that rookies cannot make an impact for for a team feel free to click off the video but before you completely click off um, there are plenty of rookies that are known to make immediate impact for the teams for example Herb Jones, Trey Murphy, um, let's see uh, Desmond Bain, Tyrese Maxey um, if you even go far back, Draymond Green. So you don't have to be a lottery pick in order to um, <coughs> to make to still you know make an impact. It's really all about due diligence. Not to forget Nikola Jokic and and you know Giannis and Kupo. Giannis was not was almost a lottery pick, but you know he was like I think 15th pick. So that could definitely also fit the case. But a lot of these guys. They made a lot of they they made immediate impact in the Clippers. We need youth. We need to find a gem. Gregory Jackson, he fits the criteria. Anyways, who is Gregory Jackson? Gregory Jackson, he's a six nine power forward who we need a lot. You know, fifteen points a game, um, six rebounds, which is pretty solid. Um, his assists and turn. His stats does not look good at all. Eye test, it helps a lot. Like the eye test, that's where, that's the main attraction. And analytics are very misleading. For example, Kobe Bryant, his stats does not look good whatsoever in terms of percentage. But eye test is on a different level. Um, and you know, just for like. A modern example, a guy like Brandon Boston, his percentage was terrible, but when he got actual minutes, that man was balling. So, eye test is like the most important thing. And before I break into the films, um, let's get into his little scouting report. So let's get to the cons first. Um, he is a pretty streaky shooter, but if I told you that this guy went to college when he's, you know, in high school, when he was supposed to be a senior. Um, a lot of the concerns would definitely uh, drop for sure. Um, he does not turn 19 to um, the end of the year. Um, my bad, my throat is tripping right now. Um, he, can, he can struggle to score in traffic. Um, that could be true to an extent, but, um, like, when you see the clips, you're definitely going to be impressed for sure. Um, questionable shots. 
that's because Gigi Jackson, he likes to take t- tough shots. He could definitely try to take more, like, smarter, efficient shots. I think if he's in, on a team like the Clippers, um, he would take more smarter shot- shots considering he gets mentored by Kawhi and PG. Can be careless on the offense, but the fun thing is he was, like, the secondary ball handler in South Carolina, which is pretty weird to be a secondary ball handler if you're uh, like a power forward unless you're like a Ben Simmons or a LeBron James. But his handles are pretty good, but he was basically running point guard like half of the time. Um, definitely could improve on his court division, I agree. Need to improve his rebounding? Eh, I kind of disagree. I feel like at times he's he has the ability of crashing the glass and cleaning up the board. Um, defense, defensively, personally, I think he's a pretty solid defender. But now let's get to his strength. So obviously his main thing is he has a good bag. Um, he, he has a stretch big potential too. Um, pretty good ball handler. Um, he's also a pretty good defender too. Well, I would give him like a B plus on defense. And he has a 48-inch vertical for a guy who's 6'9". That's pretty impressive. But anyways, let's break down to the film. Alrighty. First film. So this kind of shows more of his defense. So he recovered pretty well, you know, losing the ball. But then he pretty much got a nice block. Something that the Clippers definitely would need for sure guy who has that energy <clears throat> this one shows his energy a lot more you know um again i did t- tell you about technical difficulties so um this one shows more so you know dude misses shots that's what we need on the los angeles clippers for sure man third clip Let's see what he's doing over here so this definitely sh- that definitely shows his bag. Um, so let's go take a look. Boom. Look at that dribble. This is like, you know, just a hint. Like a little drop of Giannis. He's most, his game is mostly like a Julius Randle. But this one was a little bit like Giannis, man. With that nice lay. Six foot nine, but he moving like that. Some sites also compared him to Bam Adebayo, which that could be possible as well, too. Also, Bam Adebayo was, like, in the 20s as well, too, so he was not a high pick. So, um, so again, just because, you know, I suggest trading a good player for a rookie doesn't mean it's an automatic rebuild. If you trade a, for a star for a rookie, then that's a rebuild. But more clips. Um, let's see. Mm. So this shows his ability to stretch the floor. Um, you know, the mechanics is pretty solid. Um, semi wide open three, a little bit lightly contested. Nice flick, bam. Um, his threes are pretty inconsistent. Sometimes he would shoot bricks, but. I think that comes in more of experience. Just remember, this guy does not turn 19 till December. So, uh, and he be dropping 20 and 30s, 30 points in a game. So, that shows that he could grow. That he's a quick learner, and I think he, like, despite his, you know, him making mistakes, I think he could be an immediate impact for the Los Angeles Clippers. Hmm. All right, so bam, whoa, take a look at that, <coughs> his 48 inch vertical is showing, look how high his hand is at, that's, wow, that's what we need on the Clippers for sure, that's what we need from our power forwards, man, um, you know, our power forwards, you got Batum and Rocco, and of course you got Morris. Rocco is pretty good, needs more minutes. Batum, um, age has been gained to him. Um, Morris, um, he's just, he had he had a stinker year for sure. That's what we need from our power forward. 
that's where I could, where I got the good defense from. Pretty tough. Another thing. Mm. So, oh my bad. All right. Mm. So, oh yeah, this shows his ability to shot create. This is where I mainly got the Julius Randle comparison from. So, look how he turns around. That's a little nice fadeaway. Um, if you really want to try to get a little funny, you could try to say he's the next Kobe, but nah. Um, a lot of people, they've been doing the fadeaways, and and Julius Randle, he likes to do that fadeaway. And that reminds me of a lot of a Julius Randle. Nice midi. Huh, all right. So this kind of shows like more of his, it's like a basic fundamental defense. Pretty good contest. Dude had to pass the ball. Um, a lot of guys, you know, um, would get scored on in this position, but um, but to be fair, he was wide open, so this wasn't really a good clip, but I was trying to, you know, get as many clips as possible, so this resulted in a turnover. Um, this clip actually uh, was pretty impressive because, um, so it was like, you know, of course, his ability to shoot. Bam. And then it shows his defense. Um, Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller is projected to be a top three, top five NBA draft. Um, his comparisons would be like a Paul George or a Jason Tatum. Basically a really good scoring wing. And in this clip, Gregory Jackson kind of locked down Brandon Miller. Um, you know, he stays on Brandon Miller. Um... Usually, um, Brandon Miller would get the ball, get an easy three, but in this situation, um, you know, they can't pass in the ball because you pass Brandon Miller the ball, there is a chance that, um, I'm sure that Brandon Miller could drive in, but there's a high probability of, you know, um, getting a steal. So, pretty, so that's a pretty good potential that he has. Like, imagine... Um, he would guard up guys like Brandon Ingram or Michael Porter. That definitely would help tremendously for sure. Like, and then next clip. Okay, so that's pretty much all the film that I got for Gregory Jackson. Um, lots of the film I just chose was um, more of his defense, but but you know his offense is nice, but. A lot of a lot of people did just show offense and all that, but it's hard to find defense. But when I find defense, I definitely want to like you know maximize it. But this man could definitely be a pretty immediate impact for the Los Angeles Clippers. He will have a lot of growing pains, but um, if we have Marcus Morris on the team, no intentional shade to Marcus Morris, but Morris he's he hasn't been himself in. He, he doesn't even really get rebounds at times, and he's been a traffic cone on defense. So if we could deal with him, um, and if we replace Marcus Morris for Gigi Jackson, um, the Clippers should be more than okay because Gregory Jackson, he's far from a traffic cone. And if I had to give like a projection of him, worst case scenario, he's a Marcus Morris with better defense. But... The sky's the limit for this guy. Clippers need to get on and trade for him, to be honest with you. Um, if I don't make a bold prediction, by year 23, this man's going to be an all-star. Um, he's going to be an all-star. Heck, dare I say, top 15 in the NBA. That's pretty bold, by the way. But, you know, um, I kind of want to get a little saucy. But... I'll be the happiest man in the world if we manage to get this guy, when we manage to get this guy on draft night. Um, this man, his projection is pretty inconsistent. Um, he's He can go as, as high as 12, but lately he's been falling in the 20s. And, you know, the Clippers, a lot of guys, they have a lot of high value. And, and, I, and you know, the Clippers are in a good position to, um, trade for this man for sure, and 
And unfortunately, the Clippers didn't, didn't even have to need to trade up for this man if we hadn't done the Gordon trade, which, till this day, still doesn't make sense because you already had a lot of shooting guards. But this is a this is going to be a really hot take. Norman Powell, he's a great player. I would even go as far as to say he's a fringe All Star. But the Clippers already have a lot of shooting guards. Personally. I think it's time to give Brandon Boston Jr. the main bench minutes when Kawhi and Paul George sits out. I'm pretty high on his game for sure. And the Clippers, they sat. <coughs> I have a dry throat, by the way. Again, my apologies. But but the Clippers, we take on, we take on some salary. But for a guy like Gregory Jackson, I think it's worth it. And if the Miami Heat become pretty terrible in 2028, that could be a high reward for the Los Angeles Clippers. And this is a low risk, too. Um, obviously, I think the Clippers could probably just eventually waive them or, or honestly send Duncan Robinson down to the G League. And maybe if, if he gets a massive fee check, maybe just give him small minutes and maybe try to flip him to somewhere else. And... But yeah, so why would my Miami do this? Um, obviously, they dump a lot of salaries and they upgrade a lot on their firepower on offense in Norman Pell. And Miami, they need offense. Up without Tyler Hero, um, Gabe Vincent has been heating up, but you know Gabe Vincent, he's just a shooter. If they have a triple threat like Norman Pell, they're gonna be tough. And he's definitely gonna do well with Jimmy Butler. And they still have a draft pick, but they trade down to 30. You know, this draft class is pretty stacked. But, but you know, um, they can still get, a, like, a pretty solid prospect. But, <coughs> but you know, if the Clippers get Gregory Jackson, I'll be the happiest man in the world. I just hope we trade for um, Gregory Jackson for sure. Um, I mean, it, you know, you go back in the video, take a look at the films. Or better yet, uh, find more of his highlight clips. Because, you know, his the artist, the potential is there. And there are so many, like, so many um, green flags to see that this guy's going to be pretty good. Um, main part is, he doesn't turn 19 until December. Uh, two, um, he has the potential to, you know, score. It's just pretty inefficient. Um, if he goes to the wrong team, he might not do as good. But if he goes on the right team like the Clippers, he's going to blossom pretty well. Um, defense is always there. Um, you know, he could definitely try to work on his turnovers. But um, especially, like they said, um, you know, like, you know, um, I'm, can be careless on offense. But he's a secondary ball handler. He's a power forward. If he's on the Clippers... Um, he's not going to be handling the ball like that. It's going to be Kawhi, Paul George. It's going to be Bones. It's going to be Terrence. It's going to be BBJ. It's not going to be Gregory. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem for a team like the Los Angeles uh, Clippers. Um, but, you know, the potential is sky high. Hopefully, I convince y'all into buying in my Gregory Jackson agenda. I know. It's a touchy subject to trade Norman Powell. I'm aware he dropped 40, but if we get a guy like Gregory Jackson, I know it's going to be worth it for the Los Angeles Clippers. But I'm probably going to do a little bit more of a scouting reports from other prospects because Gregory Jackson, he's not the only guy I like, but he's the main bang of the buck. He is my birthday wish to become a Los Angeles Clippers. So hopefully it comes true. But anyways, um, have a good night. Take care. Much love. Peace.